double killer, bringing flavor to you. Deliver heat each week like it was catered to you. If it's real, best believe we gon' relay it to you. If it ain't the truth, I guarantee we ain't gon' say it to you. We use mics like girls use dildos. We gon' keep it coming till it's pouring out your ear holes. Airgasms, yeah, we been giving them. Them trash cans you listen to, get rid of them. Yeah, cause they don't sound like us. And if they do, then they don't break it down like us. They don't clown like us. Get around like us. We from the city, but they don't go to town like us. The flavor we been kicking is what you been missing. Although it's free, we gon' make you pay attention. And there's one more thing that we forgot to mention. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and then listen. Bootleg Cable Podcast. And your boy Killer is on the mic. Alright, yo, so check this out, man. Your mama's on the way home. Mm-hmm. She asked you at 8 o'clock mm-hmm. a.m. to defrost the chicken. You got. Now she's about to be home at 5 p.m. 5 p.m., all right? Your ass was playing with your friends, <laughs> playing video games. Now it's 4 15. Mm. And you forgot to take the chicken out. <laughs> If you don't take that chicken out and get that de- that chicken defrosted, you finna get shot. Mm-hmm. Squid Games. <laughs> That's the hood Squid Games. That's the hood Squid Games. <laughs> <laughs> what you finna do? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? Well, in, 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 in what you do? In we all been in that situation. In my old age right now. Nah, nah, nah. I'm we gotta I'm think about tell, young you, nigga. Young, young me? Young you. Young that me, was young, young you. Young dumb me. I'm young probably, me, you gonna order out. So, young, you know what I'm saying? Me, Back I'll, then, I'll old probably, you gonna order out. Young you would have to do something else. You young gonna me, I'm gonna take it and I'm probably gonna try to put that bit in some boiling water, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that's pouring that boiling water on top of that fucking yeah. That's what young me that gonna Purdue do. man. Young me gonna take it out right, and try man. to get the boiling water, <laughs> and then she gonna come home to boil yeah. chicken. <laughs> we making soup tonight, mama. We making soup, man. What up, y'all, man? <laughs> what it Bullet is? Like cable podcast. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, don't even don't, say it. Don't even say it. Where y'all been at? Don't All that it. bullshit. Don't say it. Whatever, don't whatever, say it. whatever. Don't say it. It's a yeah. Say we here though. We here. It's still a pandemic. Going on, man. You know what I mean? All that, nigga. Yeah. I'm saying for real. You know what I'm saying? But we still the realest, man. Definitely. And I thank y'all. I thank y'all for sticking around. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate all the people that's been commenting, you know what I'm saying? Sending me text message. Where the fuck y'all been at? Mm -hmm. When y'all go put out some new content. Yeah. Whatever, whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the love, man. And I, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the motivation to let me know that y'all fuck with us and y'all care. You yeah. know what I mean And um, you know what I'm saying the, the time is right So me and my nigga You know what I'm saying Dub we back in this thing We back up in this bitch man yeah, It's your man. boy yeah, Pete Double yeah. This is Bootleg Cable Podcast Yeah And ain't no fuck, nothing, nothing fake about it man Not we a here, goddamn man. thing Yeah man for real, but, for real. but So check this out right yeah, So yeah. um, As a grown ass man right mm-hmm. You know uh, And you just celebrated a birthday the other day Shit I'm, I'm, I'm about to celebrate a birthday at the end of this year Uh huh What Things is it that a grown man ain't supposed to do? Quotations like what? 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 What a grown yeah. man ain't supposed to be doing? Like grown man, what you too grown to be doing right now? Grown too grown to be fucking up, nigga. <laughs> that's that's what it is, man. What, what, well, not we're not 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 talking about fucking up. I'm talking uh, about like passing the time. Passing the time. Yeah. Shit, man. Like uh, what do you do right now? Yeah. Like that you'll tell somebody. And they'll be like, "Damn, nigga, you still doing that shit?" Shit, I watch anime. Okay, that's 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 my uh, that's okay. my little bag right there. I watch anime, man. You know I never got into that. Yeah, not that not everybody did, and I understand, I respect that. But that, yeah, that's been my thing, man. I like the the creative aspect of it all. I, you know, what I'm saying I've been into art and all that shit. Mm-hmm. So you know, what I'm saying the storytelling. You know, I, I love anime. I love okay. anime. You know, what I'm saying so. Anytime my girl catch me watching that shit, I I get a judgmental eye. Mm-hmm. But hey, whatever. That's my thing. That's my bad. I play video games, bro. Yeah, I play video games and not not two K. Yeah, and not 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 yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Call of Duty. Okay, okay. And okay. not not still play adventure games. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. you know what I'm saying. So I be I be on the video games. Yeah, and like I was talking to one of my homeboys, I was like, Yo, man, this game came out. You know what I'm saying? I bought two mm. copies of it. One I bought the special edition. I was like, Yo, this might be worth some money mm. in the future. So I'm just gonna. Uh, Buy that and hold it down in a closet, you know what I mean? Okay, and, okay. And, and hopefully, you know, 
20 years from now it'd be worth yeah. a couple thousand dollars, right? Sure. And homie was just looking at me all crazy like, damn, fam. Mm, you play video you games? damn near 40 years old, man. Yeah. You still playing video games, bro? Yeah, man. Nah, nah. Yeah, it's finding time to play video games and even enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. son continuously invites me to his room to play and I'm like, yeah, I just don't have the motivation, son. But I'll go and I play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he kicks my ass and everything. But you know, it's just I just don't have the motivation for the video games. But I, you know, I, I'm, I, you know, I got my own quirks, so I don't judge judge anybody for for the, their quirks or whatever gotcha. they, they're into. You know? Yeah, but so I, hopefully nobody else does. I guess it's, it's it's just weird as a dude. I'm like, damn, like, don't everybody play video games? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, nigga, what nah. what do you do? You know what in I your was spare thinking about time the other when day? you when the wife ain't home, you, when the kids ain't around. What yo, do you do in your like when you want just that peaceful? I I know, I know, besides, and I feel you. I feel you. Know, you. Like the you obvious. Know. <laughs> You know the thing is, man. Like you know, I I, I love hip hop. I love hip hop. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm I'm still a fan of hip hop and all that shit. But mm-hmm. you know what? Hip hop is really still WWF at the end of the fucking day. You know WWE and all that. Yeah, it's still fucking make believe. It's still fantasy bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Oh hell yeah! So yeah. to participate in it, there is still an element of kid like shit. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you still like. Following the story, who beefing with who, and mm-hmm. you know who, what character this this individual is trying to portray, and all that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They, there's still an element of fakeness to hip hop that we continually, continuously to accept. True, you know what I'm saying. So sometimes I wonder, like, yo, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, is there a judgmental level from a, a certain fucking uh, a group of people? That look at look, you know what I'm saying? Even black people that look upon us like, bro, you still, you still, you still rocking with that, man? Yeah, or you yeah. still you still doing that? That's not for ki- that's not for you, man. That's for the for kids. kids. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So hip hop is definitely one of the things I'm I'm in question with in my older age. Yes, and, and we have spoke about that a while yeah. back. And I, I I think I'm starting to feel like you when it comes to that now. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of the times, like I turn on the radio, I listen to a lot of different hip hop music mm-hmm. or rap music that they play on the radio. Yeah, and even like I'm like, all right, you know, such and such just dropped a little album. Let me mm-hmm. let me let me check one of the lils out and see what what yeah. what, what, what little 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 whatever yeah. doing yeah, this yeah. this this time around. Yeah, and it's like I'm listening to it and I'm just like, damn, bro, like. Y'all ain't talking about nothing? Like nothing? nothing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I got all the answers to the questions you asking, little nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All nothing, the questions nothing. you're asking, nigga, I, I got the answers, fam. Like, you, you know what I've mean? been around a while, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, yo, hip-hop is... And it's like, some, like sometimes... Uh, uh, essentially a, 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 a format of fantasy. Oh hell yeah, man! Be honest with you, if you yeah. really, really break it down at this <laughs> day and age, it's, damn near anime. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta believe these storylines for it to work. Niggas be charging up for three yeah. episodes. Yeah, for real, niggas be charging up, niggas powering up and all, man. Like nigga, how many power levels do you got, nigga? Exactly. Gonna... <laughs> this nigga going super saiyan on this one. That boy Fuck. still charging up. <laughs> Two episodes straight. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nah, wow, man. man. Wow, so, man. So even when we talk about hip hop, right? Yeah, so yeah. Meek Mill dropped the album recently. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And Meek Meek Mill is kind of sort of in our age group or yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. He over 30. Right. And um he dropped the album and his 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 album cover is causing a little bit of controversy. Ah, uh-huh. yeah. So so when I looked at the album cover initially, Mm-hmm. And um, I'll try to throw a, a picture of the album cover up now so y'all can see it. Mm-hmm. But when I when I when I put the album cover up, when I looked at the album cover um, initially, I was like, damn! I was like, yo, what 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 people tripping on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like it's, it's an album cover. Like you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But then I seen the video of the white dude looking at the album cover on the bus. Yeah. And it gave me a whole different perspective, bro. Yeah. I you know I didn't watch that video. I understood mm-hmm. that there was the outrage the in regards to that you know that 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 gentleman mm-hmm. seeing the bus and he made a video but i, I never took the time to to watch it because like who really gives a fuck what a old white dude thinks you know so i just kind of never watched it you know i just chalked it up oh he's outraged you know? that's that's enough for me you know i didn't need to watch it so like well, 
what what in what regards were you in agreement with him or I was in agreement with pretty much everything that he said in the context that he said it. Okay. So okay. the album cover by itself. So so give me give me some um some context uh, in, 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 as to what he said and Okay, you saw the album cover. I sent you the I saw the album cover. I definitely listened to the album and I saw the album cover. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I saw it on Apple where the album cover is actually Moving and shit, so. Oh shit, is, yeah. It, is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got Android, so your shit don't move. Yeah. Your shit Damn. don't move. On Damn. Apple, it moves. Damn, they do me yeah, like that, yeah, bro. Yeah. That bitch was shaking her ass on. Really? Yeah, yeah. All that you shit. You gotta was, show me that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'll, I'll show you Android users. All right. So in the context of art. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team Android. Android team. <laughs> so in the Shake in the that ass, bitch. <laughs> in the context of this is art, right? Mm-hmm. And mind you, this art, his, his album cover was created by a black woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So let's keep that in mind. But okay. on the album cover, like y'all already seen it, you got, you know, broads bent over, mm-hmm. you got titties showing, mm-hmm. cartoon some, titties nonetheless. Some pink, pu- some pink pussy and all that. Some yeah. pink pussy and all that. And yeah. I was just like, Ugh, like, okay, I get it. What's the album called? Expensive, Expensive Pain, yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm like, okay, you know, all right, got the dollar signs in there. You got yeah, okay. whatever, yeah, with whatever mm-hmm. it is that y'all trying to do. I, yeah. It's an album cover. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. But then when you put it on the side of a bus and you drive it around the city, yeah. it's just like, how would I feel again if I'm in a car with my eight year old son yeah. and he see a cartoon okay. bent over? So with that, with that thing just hanging out there so, like so that. So so my response for that because I asked myself the same question, right? Yeah. And um, my response to myself was, "Nigga, you gave your son a, a, a iPad, and this is me. I gave my son an iPad. Yeah, nigga, you gave yourself your son a, a Apple computer, and this is me. I gave my son an Apple computer, mm-hmm. and they on YouTube." And they on all these shit. Nick, do you realize how accessible pornographic images are? I do. Do and you realize how accessible all these graphic content and images and, you know what I'm saying, like whatever you want to call it, is out there for them to see? Yes, I do. My nigga, y- 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 them seated on the bus is lightweight. You think so? Yes, it's lightweight. Okay. It's lightweight. It's lightweight. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, is that a decision I would have made? Yeah. To put that on the on the bus? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. I w- and and that's I, I, that's I, I, that that's yeah. where I'm coming from with mm-hmm. it. I think that as an artist, you have to be like <laughs> I I'm I'm sure when Meek Mill got this put on the bus, yeah. there was some kind of computer graphic or something out and somebody in his camp or yeah. Meek Mill himself was looking at it like, yeah, that's fly. That's dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it is. It is it's fly and it's dope. It, and, th- and, and on the back me, of the bus, on yeah. the back of the bus, yeah. homegirl, skin out, dude. You, you have skin, skin out. Skin out. Skin out. Skin out. Pink out. Pink out. Titties out. That's all. You know what I'm saying? All of it. it, it all of it. It just... It don't feel right Shake for me, that bro. Ad, bitch. It, I, I don't have the feel outrage. I don't have the outrage that homie had in the yeah. video. Mm-hmm. But just looking at it, don't feel right, bro. Right, right. Yeah, you know. I, and there's different angles to tackle this from. Yeah. Um. I see Mick Mills. You know, what I mean, recently, you know, he addressed the issue. He spoke on like, did that? Did that individual? Uh, did it? Did they share that same outrage when uh, George Floyd uh, murder? You know, took place. Did he did he have that same kind of outrage, you know, knowing that a white man choked out a black individual? You know, did he did he That's express deflection. That? I hate when people do that shit. There, bro. There, there, there's deflection and all that, but everybody tries to find that angle and, and, and play to it. And the, the the fact of the matter is, you know, he's right in a sense, if you look at it from that perspective. Mm-hmm. And there's many perspectives that you can look look at it from where it is right. You know what I mean? I heard Somebody um, expressed the point recently, and uh, I, I can't quote who it was. I, I, it sounded like the brat, but I don't know who the fuck it was. It okay. could have been. 
But it was like, yo, if you go to, like, you know what I'm saying, Rome or Italy and all that, and you see all these fucking, you know, black statues, not black statues, but all these statues, you know, with their little pee-pee out, you know what I'm saying, titties, you know, all the, the paintings with, you know, boobies out on the wall and all that. Okay. And it's considered, like, you know what I'm saying, like classic art, But re- you know. But hold on, right? Right, right. Yeah. That's That's a whole different culture on a whole different continent, right? No, so, no, but, no, 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 no. It's not a whole different culture on a whole different continent because we we have allowed that. You know what I'm saying? I've seen those images on CBS back in the day. We, I've seen those images on ABCs. I've seen those on, you know what I'm saying, regular network channels okay. that, you know what I'm saying, will portray these images and won't blur them out because, you know, it's... I can't say that word, so don't judge me, motherfucker. It's art. Okay. So, you know what I mean? Like, his point was, you know, this is black art. And for me, as somebody that appreciates art, like, there's certain black arts I hate. I can't stand them motherfuckers. All them little colorful fucking good times. Let me, let me, extended arm shits. I hate them shits. <laughs> let me, let me, I can't let stand me, them let shits. Me, let me push but back. this type let of art, back. I love it. I let like me, it. Let me push back. Yeah. So, the difference between... Yeah. What is it, David? You yeah. know what I'm saying? You got the big ass giant nigga with the little dick or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The difference between that is if David was fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if, if Ain't he. Ain't it a part if, of life, if, though, my if, nigga? If, yes, it's a part of life. But yeah. if he was sitting like homie, R.I.P., the, the dude that got the meme out now that oh, they yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. using to, to, to put over the light switch and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. If he was sitting. Like R. showing R. his, he died. That nigga died. Yeah, dude, oh. he been dead a long time. Oh, word? I think okay. he was dead way before the meme came out. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> it is. Okay, I say but, that a couple of people. R. <laughs> that nigga. I didn't realize I was using your dick in vain. My nigga. I'm sorry. And the, and the funny thing <laughs> is, is it's a backstory, but that nah. ain't even his real dick, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, for <laughs> the real? Man, the man wasn't even slanging like that oh, for real. Okay, that's Damn that's it. that's Photoshop. Damn it, man. But. But the somebody thing, Photoshop my dick. <laughs> but, the, but the thing is, is like my dick be Photoshop while I'm inserting it. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> I put some fucking VR goggles on the bitch, <laughs> and I'll fuck the shit out of her with my little dick. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But go ahead though. <laughs> but the, but the thing is, the difference between uh-huh. David and yeah. what Meek Mill is putting out, mm-hmm. like. It's. I don't think that that statue is sexualized. It's okay. a naked man. It's not it's a naked, a naked man. man showing us his dick. Meek Mill. The the yeah, album. Yeah, the but album I wouldn't cover, give a fuck about that statue if we didn't show it. The his album dick. cover is a shorty bent over uh-huh. showing us the pum pum. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's sexualized. Right. It's difference. It opposed. No. Opposed makes a difference, bro. No, no, no. What I'm trying to tell you is like these youngins. Are seeing these things regardless if we're showing so it told, to them or not. So you, so you, so, so, so you, think, perspe- you think we you, are always. You think little man? You think your little man is out here? Uh, uh, I don't think my little is man he, is knows. he on it. Is he on it like that? No, 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 no. I don't think he knows the difference, right? I think he knows this is popping, and this is the direction I'm taking. My little man is only ten years old, so he don't know. You know what I'm saying? The implications of any of this right now. Okay. Is what I'm saying. So his understanding is different from your understanding or our understanding. Mm-hmm. And what we're trying to prever- prevent them from, in a sense, is the, the perverseness that we've exp- we've went through. And, you know what I'm saying, we've viewed things from, you know what I'm saying, the lenses that we've, we've viewed it from. Yeah. And I, what I'm saying is, like, let's not try to try to um, attempt to... to, to to block them from that because it's nah, just a part nah. of life. Yeah, I agree. And as it is a part of life, is we also got to understand. Listen, they're coming up in a different era. Oh, definitely. Where they have full access to this stuff. Different, different. Regardless, you know what I'm saying. If they're, you think you're personally exposing to the exposing it to them or not. Mm-hmm. So you know them seeing that on a bus. Or whatever, whatever. It's 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 actually lightweight, lightweight. to what they've seen on the internet. Not you to, know what I'm not, saying not, like I could I could watch a full on porn straight by googling it right now. I could say woman pussy and hit images and bloop, there's no fucking restrictions from what the fuck you know what I'm saying I'm finna yeah. see on my fucking computer right now. Yeah. There isn't. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Porn, intercourse, all that shit is is in full full accessibility to these young these young kids. Right so now. And, and again, I don't want to sound like a super duper parent or sound yeah. like one of them dudes that's out here that's like, oh, I can't allow the kids to say that. So. Yeah. Are are we are we raising a generation of perverts? If that's the case, no, we're not because what I what I've realized is. They're evolving in a different kind of way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though they're they're given this aspect of it, mm-hmm. you know, they're they're being they're being provided with more information in regards to hey, you know, you can't treat women a certain way. You know what I'm saying? You have to be more respectful. Okay. There's there's that that element that's out there. So you know what I'm saying? Those uh a uh, uh, level of Thinking, but what's plays that, with their that, mind. That, so, that aspect was out there when we was jits too, right? Yeah, but you know, what I'm saying nobody was telling us like, "Yo, let's listen, man. Yo, you you slapping that woman on the ass when you at the club is just, you know, may may not be the right thing to do, or you know, yeah. what I'm saying, yo, your advances are inappropriate. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying things of that nature. So, you know, we we have to look at those things and say, hey, listen, man, they're they're more informed than we are in regards to, you know, what I'm saying things of that nature. Yeah. Now, is that information right or is that information a better way of going about it? I don't know. But what I'm saying is things are progressing in a way that we can't stop. Mm-hmm. And we just have to continuously try to understand what's happening, what's taking place. OK. And adjust in the that's fair scenario as it goes along man that's, that's what evolution is man. that's fair yeah okay so let's talk about more evolution man yeah uh comedy bro comedy yeah okay okay your, 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 your boy dave Chappelle, our boy dave Chappelle, okay. is, is 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 pushing it forward mm. in this day and age this sensitive mm. af age right yeah sensitive af age yeah you're right yeah so he's pushing it forward and you you saw the closer yes i did yeah have you watched it multiple times or you just watched it once i just watched it once i, I watched it multiple enough. times you watched it multiple times yeah and and i feel like every time i watched it it was just a slight hint of something else that i saw and i was just okay. like oh okay i never t- i never took the the time out to watch it multiple times yeah but i enjoyed it the first time that i watched it i laughed mm-hmm. my ass off yeah i laughed out loud which i haven't in a long time and i was able yeah. to watch it by myself and laugh out loud by myself which is not you know what i'm saying common these days so you know i, I appreciate the comedy special it, yeah it, it, I thought it was masterful. Okay, I, I agree. I agree with that mm-hmm. sentiment. Um, yeah. Do you think that there is a reason for the outrage that 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 exists about this comedy right now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I think there's it. a reason for the outrage. Um, I get it. I get the outrage. Do you? Yeah. 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 Why? I'm not gonna say I I agree or disagree with it, but you know what I'm saying. Um. I couldn't understand, you know, um, from both. Let me let me um, paint where I understand what Dave Chappelle is first from coming from first. Okay, right. So what I understand on um, the perspective of Dave Chappelle to be articulating in this um, comedy special is he's a, he 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 said, you know, what I'm saying what I understood is that I as a black man is jealous of the gay communities. Progress, progress, movement. movement. Yeah. Okay. Um, the understanding that they're given. Okay. All right. right. I, as a black man, you know, what I'm saying I am jealous, and I think that is to me is a real emotion to convey to say, "Hey, man, listen, I am jealous," and I will say that from not only as a black man perspective, and I think he also admit that too, is from a male's perspective, like. Mm-hmm. I'm jealous that there really aren't any objections I could have as a man that would garner this this much attention. Okay. Like if there's something that I don't like that the other gender is doing, mm-hmm. I really you, can't complain about it. You gotta it. shut the fuck up about it. I gotta fucking adjust. Yeah, just, yeah. Just adjust. Yeah. Hold, hold that. Hold that. <laughs> you have no... Yeah. Say in this no, argument. You don't got B. no say in this argument. Yeah. 
readjust, mm-hmm. you know, and um, just just keep keep it moving. Okay. So I that that perspective of it, like I really felt that Dave Chappelle, you know, conveyed, you know, articulately. Okay. I really appreciate that. Okay. Um, on the flip side, like I like I said, it's like um understanding where you know a transgender or a gay individual may feel is like man listen man imagine trying to tell somebody hey man like every night i look out my window and i see a unicorn galloping around in my backyard i cannot take a video of it i can't show you this shit but just believe me there's a unicorn galloping around in my backyard I just want you to believe this shit is going on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And hey. Okay, so again, like I said, I watched this at least uh-huh. minimum three times, right? Yeah. And I think that at the end of the day, Dave Chappelle was telling the story. Mm-hmm. And I think that the point that he eventually made about everything that he spoke about in the uh, special yeah. was... It's really the other way around. Uh-huh. Y'all are bullying us. Y'all, yeah. the LGBTQ community, uh-huh. are bullying us, the yeah. straight community. I think okay. that that was the the, 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 the point that he was making. Yeah. Because at the end of it, he was just like, yo, could you please stop punching down at my people? Yeah. Because I don't feel like I'm above you guys. Mm-hmm. And he, he used the reference of <clears throat> Daphne. R.I.P. Daphne, I don't know her, but yeah. R.I.P. Um, he used that reference Damn, of uh, real quick, real quick. Please hold your point. Yeah. Do you believe Daphne was a real individual in his storyline? Yes. I looked it up. I'm like, damn. He I had that in the tuck this whole time, and he never fucking pulled it but out. But he did. He's speak, awesome for that. He spoke about Daphne, I believe, in Sticks and Stones. Oh, okay. Okay. He okay. did speak about Daphne before, yeah, not yeah. by name. Yeah. But I believe he spoke about her in, in yeah. Sticks and Stones. Okay. So I'm um, glad you referred to her as her. Yeah. You're pretty yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be trying to be you know yeah man, yeah, man. progressive <laughs> trying to be res- dumb, yeah man, man. Yeah, trying yeah, to be yeah. respectful you know yeah, what I'm man, saying definitely man You're so 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 uh, <laughs> I, I knew your father he, he was a great woman <laughs> <laughs> that was fire that was fire yes <laughs> yeah. but um he I, I think that the way that he spoke about it was at the end of the day, all this stuff that I said for an hour and some change yeah, is let you realize that I'm not the one punching down on y'all. Y'all punch down on me mm-hmm. because, or us because if we say, hey, it's just like, you're not supposed to say that. We're yeah. offended. Uh, yeah, right. Take the special down. It's yeah. insensitive. It's this, yeah. it's that. It's da, 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 da. But at the end of the day, Every single story that he told on there, mm-hmm. it was, it was okay. This is a couple of jokes here. Mm-hmm. This is the real, and this is what happened, mm-hmm. and this is who I know, and this is who I met. Yeah, and yeah. then it was just like, okay, reel it back in. Let me tell a couple of jokes, and let me hit you with a real story, and da 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 da. And it's just like, like he was saying about Daphne, she was saying, yo. I'm having a human experience here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he appreciated that she didn't use the pronouns and the he and the her and the they and the them and da 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 da. At the end of the day, we all humans. Yeah, yeah. There's a unicorn prancing around in my backyard. Yeah. I can't show you that there's a unicorn prancing around. You just gotta believe me. I, I, I just, I disagree with the outrage totally because I think that people watch that and they saw certain jokes, and yeah. it was just like, you know, I can't take this. Turn this off. Yeah, but and then hold they, on. And then they made a big freaking yeah. argument about no, it, when which we is say, invalid, but, bro. Yeah, but, yeah, I, I, but I think that portion of it we have to be mindful of, right? Right? Because even though we may feel like the gay community or LGBT community might be weaponizing certain, you know, tidbits of this stuff, you know, is it? And we can't prove, and we would hope to have this level of, you know what I'm saying, like, hey, listen, li- 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 of, uh, I-, I can't put my words together right now, but do we know for sure if this is in agreement with all the community? Of course not. Or you, you can never say that. Or is it certain individuals 
you can but that do it and that's where i'm at with it it's like okay if you know saying like a hundred or so individuals find a way to sensationalize us a certain point or you know to play to this 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 particular narrative you know what i mean Do, we can't just like it's definitely paint we, that picture that it's enlarged just, just where it's it, the gay community coming from and if it's these particular individuals I, why do I care? Just like me and you can't speak for the black community, we can only speak for ourselves and how okay. we interact in society and whatever. Right, whatever. Right. So he's like, they, yo, they, maybe they should regulate themselves too. Yeah, yeah. They, they, one or two people or one or two outlets or five or six or ten outlets can't speak for the entire LGBT community. Right. But there's enough outrage to say, oh, you guys, Netflix, whoa, we're gonna cancel our subscriptions. You need to take this down. It's, no. it's homophobic. But I it's, still don't it's believe that. I, I, I still don't believe that. But even there's what, right articles now, there's, about it though. There's they're saying plenty. that they're it, they're Netflix employees, transgendered Netflix employees. They're gonna walk out on. Are gonna walk out October on the twentieth. October twentieth. All five of them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All five of y'all finna walk out. Sit the fuck down with that bullshit. Yeah, like it cannot be that much people walking out. I How many transgender employees yeah, y'all got? I can't believe this is going to shut down operations right about. Nah, fucking, dude, man. it's not. It's not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, gonna, I think and dude, the Netflix gonna, did the analytics. Like they all they, go, they, they like yo, we stand behind it. They gonna meet, all four of y'all can't stop. They us. gonna meet in a parking yeah. lot and all of them gonna hop in a caravan. Yeah, and they gonna hold up one sign. Yeah, together, yeah. Like, Somebody gonna walk up like Jean. like bro. It, like yo. Netflix ain't hiring transgenders yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's gonna be like Nikki. This whole time you were Nick? <laughs> Who the fuck I didn't know? Exactly. But, you know, like, <laughs> you know, yeah. all four of y'all can't shut shit down. Yeah, I, y'all I can't. cannot Sorry. imagine that there is that many transgendered individuals working for Netflix. And if they are, man, yo, listen, man, y'all need to hit y'all little cabal up and, yo, know, like, find out if that's what everybody's about. And, um, and also, like, I've seen things where, you know, they, there's hate within the LGBT community of course. amongst the LGBT community. Yeah. So, like, yo, it's like it's, and, it's and an again, easy battle to fight against the straight community. And he referenced that in his Sticks and Stones where he was talking yeah. about the L's, the B's, and the G's, and the T's. Yeah. Talking about how the T's is riding the back and the yeah, L's yeah, yeah, shut yeah, the fuck yeah, up. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. it's, of course, it, it, it seems for us yeah. It seems a lot more organized than it actually is. Yeah, yeah. There's no way that, you know what I'm saying, the gay dudes and the lesbians, all of them agree with all of the shit that the transgenders is doing. Like, I'm not, I yeah. don't want to sound hateful, so bro. My, my, my overall opinion of all of it, man, and yeah, like, I don't want to come across hateful at all yeah. either, my, my guy. Like, for real, I don't. I don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm two fools about it all. Like I appreciate that Dave Chappelle tackled these issues, right? Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate it from the perspective of, hey man, in the name of comedy, some shit gotta fly. Of course. These jokes you know gotta saying? fly. These and, jokes and, and, gotta and, fly. And that's that's the thing. Yeah. Throughout that special. Yeah. He made fun of everybody. That's what I'm saying. Oh, y'all must have got that from but some black he, bitches. Even on the flip side, like <laughs> oh, there's, no, been, bitch. there's been white comedians that made black, you know what I'm saying, jokes that Lisa Lampanelli. Yeah, or what's the what's the one that fucking had the, the Donald Trump head cut off shit? Um uh Ka- Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin. Yeah. They've all made black jokes that, you know what I'm saying? Some of them Listen, were, were it, too were, were too close to home for me. If it lands, if it lands correctly, if it's a dope joke. I'm gonna laugh at it even if it's directed in my if even yeah. if it's in my direction. Yeah. You just gotta you yo. But I'm not here get to your pen game, nobody. Get yeah. your pen game right. Yeah. And, and and again, going back to the sticks and stones, yeah. y'all clicked on my head. Yeah. You clicked on me. Yeah. You, you know what saw you, this unless you clicked on me. You would have just heard about it from somebody else. Yeah. You clicked on it. You wanted to watch this to see how outraged you could hey, be. Hey, yo, but did you, did you you watched it? You said you watched it several times, right? Yeah. You didn't see them two little fat white people? Oh, that was hilarious, bro. 
They Dave, was hilarious. At the Dave beginning, was at the beginning, they was laughing. To balloon in the mall, at the, bugger. At the beginning, you saw them though, right? The, yes. Yeah. At the yeah, beginning, yeah, yeah. they was laughing, but then yeah. afterwards, I was just like, "Damn, mm-hmm. they face got serious as fuck." Yeah, Especially they, when he was just like, "Oh, this, this is impossible pussy." Yeah. Like, yeah. He was like, "That's no, beyond." They was. I was like, "Whoa, that's, that's, that ain't blood. That's beet juice." <laughs> wow. They was. <laughs> they, they was. was Uncomfortable. <laughs> God dang that! Yeah. Was, that was made it more funny. Oh, that was they hilarious, bro. That, that was, was hilarious. hilarious watching them there. But yo, I, I appreciate the fight for comedy. And if I'm looking at that, that perspective, then I have to negate my my next point was, ah oh, man, he, 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 I didn't want to, didn't necessarily need a whole special about fucking transgenders, bro. I, I agree. I wish I agree that, that you tackled other issues for. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Or you know what I'm saying? Different comedic point point of view, but, but hey, we, but that we, one might have been the sacrificial episode to say, hey man, listen, let's all just start making fun again, man. Let's start. Agree. Let's start you Agree. Know what I'm saying, and that's what he said at the end. Yeah. He said, Yo, I ain't gonna make no more jokes until I know that we all laughing with each other and not at each other or we not getting sensitive about the situation. Yeah. Because again, he yeah. makes jokes about every fucking body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinese, black, white, right, da, da, da. right, right. Like it it's it's not like mm-hmm. us as a black community, like, damn, Dave, why you doing this like that? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? White true, people. True. Like he said, Oh, you know, if you if you look at what I'm saying, I always he's like I always had a problem with the whites. Yeah. That's you know true. what I'm saying? That's so, absolutely true, man. That's absolutely true. And, but and, even, like I said, the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, "All right, man, get off this already, Dave. I want to see what else is." What else? Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. I agree. And you know, you know, what I'm saying maybe that was the masterpiece of it all. Like, hey, listen, I need to break these barriers so we can move forward. You know, what I'm saying he even Definitely. he even fucking took jabs at Kevin Hart. Like that nigga slided the shit out of Kevin Hart. I felt. <laughs> that nigga gave I mean, Kevin Hart some bars, bro. <laughs> Say Kevin Hart went on and apologized for yeah. six fucking weeks. Right, right, right. Yeah, he, yeah. He's, yeah, yeah. He told him he was a safe com- comedian. Yeah, y'all even tackled Kevin Hart, man. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, man. So y'all tell us how y'all feel about right. Dave Chappelle. Do yeah, y'all yeah. agree with the outrage or not? Or you know what I'm saying? Drop a True. comment. Yeah. Let us know how y'all feel about it, man. Yeah, yeah indeed, man. Yeah, did. Um, going on with what's going on right now in the world, man. We got the uh, the pandemic still going on. Sports uh-huh. is starting up. You know, we got the L- the, the the NFL. Uh-huh. Um, they're doing real good right now. The numbers is looking all right. Yeah. Um, games is looking good. Uh-huh. They playing ball. They ball. NBA about to come out. Mm-hmm. Then we got a couple of different players. You got Kyrie Irving that's making the most news. You got homeboy from Orlando Magic. Um, mm-hmm. I forgot his name. Jonathan Isaac. Yeah. Said that he didn't want to take the vaccine. He eventually yeah, took yeah, it. Yeah. Um, and you got uh, Andrew Wiggins. Uh-huh. But Kyrie, 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 Kyrie is making the most noise with the whole vaccine situation. Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie. Okay, all how you, right. How you, how you feel about that? Um, um, okay, if he wasn't talented, Kyrie is talented. Um, we wouldn't be talking about Kyrie. Correct. All right. So let's 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 put that in the forefront. Definitely, we're talking about Kyrie because Kyrie is talented. So let's let's recognize that, recognize that, acknowledge that. You know what I'm saying, and and, and show some appreciation towards that. We appreciate you, Kyrie, for your talent level. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Your experience and we your, want to your, see you your hoop, expertise. Fam. Yeah, man. Um, so be, basically this is Kyrie versus Stephen A. Smith, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah, 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 man. Um shit. Can I say honestly, I'm not where Kyrie is. Let, let, let's first put it out there. I am vaccinated. Okay, and let, let me put it out it. there too. I'm vaccinated too. Fuck. I gotta say that. Yeah. Shit. I'm vaccinated too, bro. Oh, I feel like a faggot. Ar- 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 <laughs> Can't say the f bomb like that, dude. So oh, okay, right. so why why do you feel like a faggot? Like, I feel like I agree with Kyrie, but I okay. got shit. I got shit to do. And that's where I am with it too. It's it's it's. I mean. We ain't on no debate show or anything yeah. like that. But we all we got to look at different perspectives. Yeah. So the way I looked at it is, I am not a millionaire. I cannot sit on millions that I have made, millions in investments. Yeah. Through my talents. Yeah. This, that, and the third, whatever, whatever. What I can't sit on that. Yeah. I'm living check to check. Yeah. Just like seventy five percent of America is living check to check. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Kyrie, to me, he's fighting a losing battle. 
Yeah, okay. And 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 it's it's like, bro, go ahead and pay somebody a couple of stacks. He at fighting the weed man battle. He fighting them stoner battles. Bro. Yeah, pay somebody a couple of stacks at Walgreens. Like, hey, bro, go, go ahead, put some saline in that, bro. Mm-hmm. Hook, hook, hook it up. And let me just say, I got the vaccine, and let's just move on from. No, no, nah, he fighting that weed head battle. He fighting that stoner battle, man. It's Kyrie has always been, you know, what I'm saying what you was in 2008, man. Everybody watched them fucking Freemason. Yeah, Illuminati yeah, yeah. videos yeah. on YouTube yeah. And you know what I'm saying You started wondering How did Jay-Z get this fucking popping mm. Who do you sacrifice mm. You know what I'm saying Like The earth might be flat <laughs> You know what I mean Like we all have our conspiracies Yeah And our theories about everything Some you know of us saying? is not as wild and as out and, there as Kyrie But go ahead When we say wild my nigga if we really like harken back to what was done to us as slaves mm-hmm. and you know what I'm saying the black the history of black Americans then we might want we might say hey man I I'm a little skeptical about what these crackers trying to do out here I'm out again you know what I'm saying again. I, yo they 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 might be trying to put something into me that you know what I'm saying that makes me more dorm, dormant as a man I hear you. Or there, 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 there's theories, bro. I hear you, but the white people is taking it too, so you can't really put that but in the, in, in, in the I, conversation. I know, but you know what I'm saying. The, what I'm saying is the white people are in control. So True. There's, there's the white people, and then there's the white people. It's still, you know what I'm saying, still right. The right. white people, the white people, and the white people are taking the vaccine, bro. But, but the, the the one percenters are are, 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 are the one percenters. Are the one percenters taking it? I, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Supposedly Trump took it. Supposedly. Make America great again uh, well, again. All, all, all I'm saying is, I'm not saying I subscribe to those theories. What yeah. I'm saying is, I could understand the apprehension of individuals that have those theories. And I could too, but let's just talk about what Kyrie is saying and a lot of people that think like Kyrie is saying. Mm-hmm. Let me do my research. Yeah. Go ahead, do that. I'm gonna take a bathroom break. <laughs> Kill that, bro. Kill that. Tell them about it. I can't hear you. So, so when we when we talk about this whole situation, we talk about the people that's out there, and they talking about let me do my research, right? And when we look at it, we say, what does let me do my research mean? Does that mean let me look at more conspiracy theories? and then come up with my decision based on the conspiracy theories or let me look at scientific fact. And a lot of the times now, everything is, is, is skeptical. Everything is questionable. There's no such thing as fact in 2021 because there's always alternative fact. Kyrie is one of those dudes and there's a lot of people that's like him. I'm in a Facebook group where we talk about these things and a lot of the people in the group are saying and spewing the same things that Kyrie is spewing. They're like, oh, you know, uh, more people that got the vaccine are getting sick and going to the hospital. More yeah. people that got the vaccine are dying from yeah. COVID and da da da. Where are you getting these numbers from? And yeah. how can you trust these sources that you're getting the number that, that that you're getting these numbers from? I'm glad you killed that in my bathroom break because you really did kill that. And you 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 said a lot of impactful things just now, my my guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, but for me, I'm not here to dispute one side or the next, but because I don't feel like that's fair. So to what do is, as a human? What's fair then? I feel like what's fair is still your decision. Whatever viewpoint you come at it from, that's what's fair. Okay, and I agree with that too. You know what I'm saying? Right? Mm-hmm. And my thing is, when when this whole pandemic situation dropped, right? Yeah. And they came out with the vaccine. The vaccine was, was, was touted as the cure. Mm-hmm. If everybody get the vaccine, then COVID goes away. We can get take the mask off. We can go back to party and giving people yeah, yeah, dabs, they, they, they give kissing, us some fake kissing random bitches yeah, in yeah. the mouth. We can yeah. do, we can go back to doing all mm-hmm. that glory holes and all that. Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, mm-hmm. but that's not the case. Okay, what it is, all the vaccine does is supposedly um, lessen your symptoms. Mm-hmm. It doesn't stop you from getting COVID. 
Mm-hmm. It's not a fucking force field like yeah. a lot of people thought was in yeah, the beginning. Yeah, it doesn't prevent you from passing it, on COVID. It doesn't prevent you from passing it on. It don't prevent you from getting it. It right. just lessens the symptoms. It's basically like a seasonal flu shot. Right. And 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 I don't want to say that bootleg right. cable podcast said it first. Yeah. But basically, that's what it's going to be. Next year, mm-hmm. they're going to have different variants. Yeah. They're going to have this, that, and the third. And they're going to say, okay, you need a new, like they're already saying you need a booster shot. They're yeah. gonna say that okay, you need to get a a, a 2022 COVID vaccine, and right. then you're gonna get a 2023, and a 2024, five, six, seven, and, and, and so on and so forth. Right. COVID is here to fucking stay. Right. Right. Yeah. So my thing is, if I decide that I'm just gonna take my chances, I'm gonna roll the dice. Yeah. If I get sick as fuck, I get sick as fuck. Mm-hmm. If I die, I die. That's my yeah. choice. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, there the vaccines don't guarantee that you don't spread it. Yeah. They don't guarantee that you're not gonna get sick and die. Yeah. There's no guarantees with the vaccine. And it says it right there in the literature when you go ahead and you get the shit. Right, right. Because when I was getting it, I was looking at this shit like, damn man, I need this fucking job. Yeah. I don't wanna be homeless. Yeah. My wife. My kids is dependent on me and my paycheck. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get this. Right. And mm-hmm. and I and like you said, I felt you felt like a fact. I felt like, you know what I'm saying? What yeah. the hell am I doing? What the hell am I putting in yeah. my body? Yeah. My dick and still works, so I said, all right, cool. It, it, there you go. It's working. You know what I'm it's saying? Fine. Priorities. My, my dick works. Priorities. And yeah. mine too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, all right, let me just go ahead and get this. Yeah. And let's see what happens. Right. If I if I die from a fucking heart attack or 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 enlarged heart, yeah, yeah. Or so cardio. I, I I think I think I think the facts that uh, Kyrie is referring to um, is is a lot of what you stated just now. Is bro is me th- taking this shit really affecting society? It's not enlarged. It's not. So if it's not, why am I being forced to take it or lose my job? And I agree and with Kyrie one thousand percent. But I, in and on the flip side, I guess the the stance that they have to take, or they the the days that are in charge is, hey, if we can't implement it on Kyrie, then we can't expect anybody else to adhere to this. Okay. So we have to go harsh on individuals. And then mind you, it's only a couple of states because this is state law. It's not the Brooklyn Mm -hmm. Nets. Mm -hmm. This is this is New York. Mm -hmm. This is California. And this is like two or three other states in the United States of America. That's mandating that you get vaccines if you work for a company Mm -hmm. that has X amount of employees or more and blah 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 blah. Right. Because because I, I, again, the facts that he's saying, uh, a healthy athlete, he's not in any danger of losing his life, as far as we know about the facts of COVID. Correct, correct. So, what are what narrative are they trying to paint right now? And I, I, I feel like, bro. I'm not on Stephen A. Smith's side of calling him a dummy. Oh, yeah. Or Steve, calling him Steve, any Steve, of those. Stephen A. Smith was wilding the fuck out. He's wilding the fuck out. He's taking the shit personal. Whatever he's doing. I'm not with that. I saw the live that Kyrie did. He made a bunch of stoner points. They sound Agreed. like a straight stoner to me. Yeah, yeah. And cool, bro. Like, I, hey, look, bro. At the, the core of it all, you're talking about love and respect for humanity. But what I'm hearing is, bro, listen, man, you, you have your apprehensions. Cool, bro. I'm not going to judge you for having those. I yeah. had mine, too. Yeah. It's just I don't I have less money than you do. So I have less bargaining chips in this thing. Yeah. So I went ahead and did it. Ag- agreed. If I had more money, I'd probably make the sacrifice you're making right now. Mm. And I can't disagree with the, the sacrifices you're making, bro, because at the end of the day, you taking the vaccine does not prevent you from passing it on, so you're not protecting anybody. So it seems like who needs to be protected? He's who needs to take the fucking vaccine. But fuck it. And I guess I, I, that all reels back into the Dave Chappelle situation. I think yeah. it's a it's a cancel culture now when yeah. you got a war 
versus the people who are vaccinated versus yeah. the people who are unvaccinated. Mm-hmm. You got a war versus the people who are wearing a mask who are the people that are not wearing a mask. Yeah. Like sometimes every once in a while I go to the grocery store or whatever, Walmart, Publix, whatever, and I'm like, man, fuck, man, I've been wearing a mask for eight hours already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to wear this shit no more. I'm going in here I, I, and getting I, what the fuck I need. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 vaccinated. Yeah. Supposedly this shit's supposed to be protecting me. It's yeah. supposed to be stopping and my me from spreading. So. Yeah. It's supposed to be stopping me from spreading this shit. Yo, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go inside fucking Home Depot. Nah, but that, a, that's and, the part. And, and, and it doesn't stop you these... from spreading it. It's to stop your personal illness from progressing to but then again if level. again if you believe in the mask and the this and the that and the social distancing and all that shit if you got your mask on at home depot or walmart or target why the fuck do you care if i'm wearing one or not i don't i don't give you a don't shit. i don't either but you have a lot of people that's out there yeah that's making these videos and they getting in fights and they're doing all kind of shit. Yeah. And they commenting on, oh, Kyrie just need to shut the fuck up and take the vaccine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah. Nah. It, 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 for him to take the vaccine, yeah, I want him to take the vaccine to see him out there balling. And that's yeah. my own selfish reason. Uh, that's but all our selfish reasons. That, 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 that are fans Period. of his yeah. basketball type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His game, like, that's it. I, um, personally, I hey, listen, if he... If it decides to retire and never takes it, I'm not gonna judge that man. Mm-hmm. I ain't, mm. and I, you know, what I'm saying I don't want nobody else out there judging that man either. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Uh, what, 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 what else we got, man? What else we, we got, man? We talked about there's, some, some, there's, some there's things. There's shit out there, man. There's shit out there. Well, Kyrie, I don't know, man. We've been gone for a minute, man. So you know what I'm saying? So there's, there's shit that happened in the midst of us going on. Right, what, what's coming I, up right now? Okay. Versus. And it's another versus coming up. Yeah, it's another versus, man. Um, Big Daddy Kane versus KRS One. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here for it, bro. I'm here for it. KRS One. You here for that, bro? Yeah, man. KRS One gonna kill him. You gonna kill Big Daddy Kane? Yeah. Young black, young young rich and black, young black famous, young whatever you want to call it. I, I feel like KRS One. Raw. Was one. I feel like R-A-W. I feel like you. <laughs> I feel like everything I come here to bring trouble to the mic. If I, <laughs> I feel like Karis one embodied everything that rap is, as far as from a competitive aspect. Like I felt like Karis one was always a rap competitor. Okay, he was all he he every, in his raps, in his lyrics, in his interviews, everything he spoke about. And everything he's always spoke about was he don't really say it, but it's like, bro, I'm competing mm-hmm. with everybody else out there. And I feel like rap has always been that. It's been competition. And I feel like KRS One was one of the first ones to just kind of own that. To, but didn't to, Big Daddy Kane have a couple of battles and you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. But I'm I'm not saying I'm I'm didn't saying people maybe, bite his style and right, you know what I mean? but Big Daddy Kane is always been um like a, a, a the Jay Z of the rap world in his era, where it was like, yo, I got enough star power where I c- I'm immune to that. Where KRS One was like, yo, listen, man, if you pick up a mic and you call yourself an MC, you are my competition. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, respectfully, yo, and respectfully, and every time I jump on this shit, and I sp- I write a rhyme, I write a bar, I'm addressing you, you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and all of y'all. And I think that KRS-One is a certain generation, right? Mm-hmm. And I think KRS-One's generation is 40 and up. Mm-hmm. And I feel like 40 and up ain't really in tune to Instagram like that. Yeah, and they, they, are. They, they are. They are. Because Are they? Yeah, because they've made it more of a, yeah, man, 40 and up, we can afford the the streaming platforms that, that uh, that, 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 that broadcast, broadcast this, the, these events. I'm not saying we up, can't. We can. I'm I'm just saying that 40 and up, a lot of those people ain't really interested in this shit like that. Like, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. it's a versus Big Daddy King versus nah, uh, 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 yeah, nah, Karis nah, nah, One. Yo, it's going to be live. I, 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 I would say it's actually maybe, maybe even 45 and up. Yeah. there's there, there So me, I'm still in the minority of the people that, you know what I'm saying, might be interested in this. But um, 
I would say that yeah, my interest level, I think it translates into the the, the, the all the generations, um, the one above me, or the ones before me's interest level to watch this. I think it's it's, it's intriguing to for them to watch. Hmm. Yeah, man, I think it's there. I'm I not interested there. in it, man, and and I guess because it's it there. Like I'm 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 of the step into my world mm. school of KRS One hip hop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think at that point. Big mm-hmm. Daddy King was kind of out of the game, yeah. As far as that goes, right, right. So remember, I'm born in '82. Yeah. Big Daddy King was like I'm number one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whoop boop. That's the sound of that police. <laughs> That's the sound of that bitch. <laughs> like I could quote so, more so when I was watching songs. Rap City, KRS One songs and Big Daddy King songs was the throwbacks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. I feel it was, but let's it not, was like Flashback Friday. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, let's when not, I was watching Big Daddy King, the let's, not, let's not do what let's not do what the younger generation might be doing to us. You know what I'm saying? To to our heroes or to to the ones and that I, we I, like. I don't want to do know? that to their heroes. I'm just saying that yeah. the 45 and up crowd. I don't think that they really stunting on Instagram like that. I don't think that they're actually paying attention to know that. Unless you really, really stayed into hip hop all these years and you could really, really appreciate the different genres and the different eras and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I don't think that many people really care about uh, KRS One and Big Daddy Kane having a versus. Yeah. I think that it would be, it would make more sense if it was, say, a Rakim versus a Big Daddy Kane because Big Daddy Kane was supposedly known as a lyricist. Mm-hmm. I don't think that KRS One was necessarily known as a lyricist, where it's just like, yo, this dude is the dopest cat mm-hmm. at the time. I think yeah. KRS One was the teacher. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. That was his moniker. He was the teacher, yeah, and it was just like he was he spit the game. He 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 dubbed himself as that because, like, that's the element of hip hop that you know spoke the most to him, the competitiveness of hip hop. And he the decided, teacher don't speak competitiveness though. He does, man. He does. You know what man. I'm saying the, th- that that moniker, the teacher. Yeah. Does that speak of competitiveness to you? And mind you, yes, he made the bridges over. Yeah, the bridges over. Supposedly this nigga one of went, the best diss tracks of all time. This nigga made fucking Nelly got a Nelly diss song. Ah, am number one. No matter how you spell it, I am number one. No matter how you spell it. Ah, yeah, that was that was yeah, against KRS, wasn't it? That was against KRS One, yeah. bro. Did he make the KRS One make a clap back? Yeah, well, I can't did anybody what hear that shit? Nobody heard it. Nelly killed him. <laughs> ah, I didn't get killed yeah, by Nelly, bro. Number one, no matter how you spell it, Nelly. Nelly, Nelly bodied you. KRS Nelly put you in the body bag, bro. Was the first one to go at. Fucking Nelly and Soldier Boy. I remember that shit, bro. <laughs> and fucking Nelly killed them, bro. Ah. Eh, number one. No matter how you spell it. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. <laughs> yo. That's wild, yo. Fucking Nelly fucking killed KRS. That's crazy, but yo. Squid Games, bro. Okay, let's talk Squid about Squid Games. Squid Games, man. You know I what I'm saying? I tried to finish the series before. I got on this podcast episode, but dude, it's so hard for me. It's so hard for you? I've been stuck on episode like three and four for a long really, time. Bro. Really, really. I've been I... stuck. Like how many episodes is See, it that, in a season? That's that's where being an anime fan, I could really appreciate. How many episodes did it in a season? I finished it. We've, how finished. many episodes is it? Like Fan, my eight, fan, 12? Uh, no, 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 no. It's uh, six games, so it's seven episodes. Seven episodes. Yeah. I've mm-hmm. been stuck on episode three and four for a minute, and I'm going to tell you why. Why is that? <sighs> I tried at the beginning to do like the um the dub the, the the dub joints where they get the you know the American actors uh-huh. to voice over the Korean actors yeah. and whatever whatever. Yeah. And I just have an I don't issue. feel like it was Americans that did it. Okay. I what, feel I, like it was English speaking Koreans that did it. Okay. Yeah. I I have an issue with the the the, the dub overs. I just I just I it, it bothers me when I watch the show. Mm-hmm. 
and I see the mouth moving, yeah, yeah. and it ain't it ain't adding up. All right, up. shut the fuck blah, up blah, blah, with like, your like, fucking ignorant ass. Sorry, point of view, sorry, nigga. dude. I, I, I nigga, can't. Nigga, it's the number one se- series in America, nigga. Number one series so, ever. Re- yeah. Not in America, yeah, ever, if ever. So regardless if yo ass fucking could get over it. I'm or just not, talking about nigga. me and why I, why nigga, I didn't finish well, the shit. Well, figure it out. <laughs> the fuck, man. I don't so hold on, hear so that hold bullshit, on, so hold on, hold on. Before you cut me off. Find a way, nigga. <laughs> my kids, my, my daughters watched it, yeah, right? Okay. Both of them finished this, yeah, the, the series. Uh-huh. They was like, oh, it's really good. You need to check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my daughter was just like, yo, you need to watch it in Korean. So I was like, okay, mm-hmm. let me put this shit on in Korean. And let me read the subtitles. I agree that it's more interesting that way because you get a little bit more mm-hmm. emotions from the characters and blah 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 mm-hmm. like I get it yeah it's, but we having shit to do we can't sit down and fucking fucking read subtitles true bit. true sometimes I might need but to again, respond just, to a text while I'm fucking watching the series it's, it, again I'm not saying that the series is whack bro yeah. I'm saying that I'm trying I've tried to get into yeah, 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 it yeah, yeah, and yeah. I just can't do it I can't finish oh, it well get past it nigga that's like trying to convince my daughter fucking oxtail is the greatest fucking thing to eat <laughs> <laughs> It just looks so yeah. Nah, nigga, eat that motherfucker. <laughs> it was like, bro, like you could get over it. It's great. It's good. Okay. It's a good series. It's um, it borrows a lot from um other TV shows and other um, uh films that are, are already out and um Hunger I, Games. The, yeah, Hunger Games, things of that nature. Saw. There's other um um. Movies titles that um, my brother quoted to me um, recently that I can't remember them all, but it borrows a lot, and the director admits to that himself. Okay. He says, "Yeah, listen, um, I really just stole a lot of this shit, like from okay, you know what I'm saying other genres and all. No the, ideas you know original, right? You nice. know what I'm saying and that and that and that that was my point too. And um, I think what they did so well with this is I love the backdrops." I love every backdrop they had in this fucking series, bro. Backdrops is backdrops cool. meaning like whatever room they walked into, mm-hmm. it looked dope. Mm-hmm. Like you know, sometimes you could watch a show and you'd be like, "I, right, I really see that the, the budget was low on this one, bro. Mm. They, 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 ain't, they ain't had the dopest locations, or you know, what I'm saying they ain't really put so much thoughts into you know what scenery this is gonna look like or whatever, but." In this show, I felt like they did. Okay. I felt like, oh, man, every backdrop that he had really brought you in. And you know what I'm saying? You, 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 sometimes you would focus on what they had to do. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes I was just really focused on like, damn, this is a, they, they walking through this pink fucking the stairway. And they're showing like, you know, listen, how deep. Listen, listen. So, fuck all like, that. Fuck all that. No, fuck no, all no, that. No, fuck, no, fuck all that. that. That's, that's, Wasn't enough bad bitches in the show, bro. Where, yeah, where was yeah, the bad bitches? I'm, speaking of which. The, so where was that? So the, the 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 main Zero. the main actress None. the main actress in the in the in this Wasn't um, bad film bitch. or this um series or this, this season she Garbage. she went from like something like two hundred and something followers to twenty million followers in Trash. A, in, in, in a matter of uh, you know saying Not months hot at all. so she has twenty million plus followers making goods. currently words in the alongs that's that's not words what it was Zendaya's. bro that's words, not where, what where it was, was the Beyonces the Rihannas nah. That's that's ignorance, bro. Cut it out. That, that's pure ignorance, bro. We didn't need all that. The show needed to be. I, I felt like the, me personally, I felt like the end fell flat. But I felt like visually, and you know, what I'm saying like the fact that they're playing the simplest of games. Even when she got naked, I wasn't even interested, bro. I was when, just like, yo, what the fuck? When they what were playing this? the simplest of games, and that's why that's why I'm such a fan of the anime genre. Is sometimes they can make the simplest thing. More complex than we've ever thought about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you watched the tug, tug of War episodes yet. I did. Right. So, for the individual that was like, yo, I used to play Tug of War when I was a young kid. Mm-hmm. And what I used to do is, you know, even though the, the other team was bigger than I was, I'd find a way to defeat them. So, you know, you place your feet like this. And you do this. And I watched that episode back. in Korean, you know so it, it didn't sound like that when I watched it. Right, it didn't sound like that. But what I'm saying is the strategies that that could go into the simplest things, simplest things yeah. that you might not have thought there was a strategy mm-hmm. to. You know okay. what I'm saying? So for them to like, when I watch anime and things of that nature, sometimes they exploit strategies that you know, saying maybe you know, I mean, you were just playing to playing, but. Hey, maybe if I 
approach it from a more strategic manner. Wow, what a dope concept! You know what I'm saying? So okay. I I hope you know what I mean they did set this set the table for a season two. I really don't want to see the same characters, which was what they kind of like you know spoiler alert set it up to be where you know what I'm saying the, the 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 main character seemed like he's coming back into the games and I didn't I don't like that aspect, but I I would love to see it where they just find new individuals and do it again and just focus more on the strategic strategic aspect of it and the anxiety level of potentially losing your life or for some easy super simplistic stupid shit like fucking rock paper scissors or some shit you know what i'm saying did they do rock paper scissors no there? but what i'm saying is they could though okay you know what i mean that's what they're setting it up to be like yo Y'all could just go ahead and play rock paper scissors and she. Y'all fucking with Squid Games out there, man. Obviously, nigga. What you mean? No. Nah, well, I mean, I don't. I don't want to. Come wanna, on, man. There's I don't not... want to hit nobody with the stereotypes. Yeah. But niggas, his niggas out there fucking with the Squid Games. Yeah, bro. man. That that that's that's a that's a horrible stereotype dub. And now, hey, you know what I'm saying? Know, Listen, it's, it's 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 a it's a what South Korean show, right? You know what I mean? And um, shit. They do, they deserve love too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, if there's black shows, there's Hispanic shows, there's a South Korean show. Okay. So why you know what I'm saying? We Dude, don't I'm need, not I'm not hating on it. I'm, I'm just saying I'm we just, don't need fucking we don't gotta be the LGBT community and say oh there need to be diversity in the fucking South Korean show. Hey man, listen, just just bring what you bring to the table. Let me see. It. They had a rap buddy in there, man. Yeah, and yo, bro. <laughs> You, know, I, I, you sound like somebody that, that's not that's not gonna continue to watch it. No, I'm gonna try, dude. I'm I, Yo, again. They, they I'm gonna try to I, watch I, I was it. But I, feel, but I feel. But I feel. Spoil, spoil, spoil it for me. But before you spoil it for me, yeah. Again, I I dude, I, I tried to watch it multiple times. I don't know if my couch is just a little bit too comfortable, yeah. and I keep on falling asleep during yeah. the shit. I don't know what it is, man. But Are you watching it, wifey, or watching it, dog? I watched it with wifey. I watched it dolo. I watched it with the kids. Sleep, nigga. Okay. Z's. Every nah. single time I turn that shit on. Nah, I love it. I love it all the way through, man. I think it's a great concept. I think it's a reflection of society. Yeah. In in a lot of ways. And yo, a Rob, dude, man. Um, they did him dirty. Did they? They did him dirty, and they didn't give him no kind of justice in in, in this series. Bro. Damn, Brody. Because he played a simpleton, pretty, pretty much in this. Um, his character role mm, was so simpleton. racist. And um, so racist. yeah, 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 man. Um, <laughs> the smart Asian dude, fucking, or you know, what I'm saying, or Oriental, or whatever the fuck you want to call him. Yeah, I don't mean to Korean. disrespect to no Korean. Korean. I don't mean to disrespect to nobody, but he played the shit out of dude. Damn. And you know, what I'm saying he lost his life, and he it ended with him getting no justification, and that shit kind of pissed me off. Damn, so, bro. But again, like I don't need. I don't think it's fair for me to ask for diversity in, in, in no, everything. No, hell no, 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 no. I don't need I, I, fucking yeah, diversity I in this shit. Yeah, I don't need diversity you know in this show, I don't need show, it. Bro. You know what I no. mean? Like, yo, just go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a heterosexual male. Sometimes, like, when they keep throwing these homo characters or, you know what I'm saying, lesbian or... Mm-hmm. I, I just like, yo, I... I look, man... So you ain't rock, I understand, you man. You rocking with the son of uh, the, the the what is this? Jody Kent, homo Kent. Oh Clark yeah, Kent, yeah, son. yeah. Clark Kent, son. You ain't rocking gay. with that, bro. Nah, bisexual man. Nah, 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 nah. If they need to, uh, he like dudes, man. I'm saying they could introduce a new was, character called Batiman, and you know what I'm saying, like <laughs> <laughs> Batiman just run around. You know what I'm saying, do what Batiman do. I'm cool with that, you know what I'm saying? Like, but no, nah, I'm not. I'm not really a fan of like you need to make Superman gay. But like, I'm a fan of what you said, though, bro. Go cop that comic book. Twenty years from now, it's gonna be worth a lot of money. Yes, sir. Like, so if they trying to fucking uh, make money off of this shit, so can we? Definitely. All right, cool. Yeah, I get the gimmick, and uh, I'll play along from that uh, perspective or that point of view. I'm not gonna play along like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, let me read these stories and get involved with it now. Got you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't feel you, man. So what's been going on with Bootleg Cable Podcast, man? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? I Shit, know we, we, niggas we know is... We... Yo, man, I've been... I, you know, people's, man... I've been looking for that answer for a while, uh, you know what I'm saying? As an individual, didn't, did a lot of soul searching, you know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, let me, I, the, the, the best answer I could come up with is, man, listen, man, um, this is personal to me, you know what I mean? Like... Uh, 
I'm a brother that never felt like I ain't know what the answers were and I ain't know who I was gonna be as a adult and where where my future lied, right? And um to I also I also had an ingrained instinct to be a provider. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To to take care of my family. And um, I was given the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to through a, a raise at my job, you know what I'm saying? I was given a promotion to become a management, be, be in the management field. And um, uh, given that opportunity, man, like, I've been guarding that opportunity with the, the highest of priority is what I'm saying. Got you. And, so and- I don't know how to turn that switch off. And I, I, I think I should. But I don't know how. And with that not knowing how is preventing me from finding allocating the time and finding the time to do anything outside of focusing and concentrating on work. Because like like I said, I as a brother, you know what I'm saying, from w- what I would consider a third world country, um, lower education and all those things, like I don't you know what I'm saying, the opportunity that I have right now. I don't know how to duplicate that. I don't know. I don't see how I personally can duplicate that. So I've been guarding and protecting that opportunity with the highest of priorities. Okay. And um, yeah, I have to figure out how. I think it's definitely necessary. I realize life is short and I can't live my life like this. I don't want to live my life like this. I want to get the most out of life and most experiences out of life and i love to do bootleg cable podcast because it's giving me the greatest of joy but i haven't figured out dude that's that's fair man and i I think that's fair as fuck because at the end of the day you're a provider Mm -hmm. i'm a provider we providing for our families we putting our families first x y and z so I'm I'm not I'm not asking you that question for me. No, I'm just I'm, asking for the yeah. people that no, you know I'm, what I'm saying I'm, that rock I'm, with us for the quick, longest. Hold and your they, point, but I'm 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 not I'm not answering that question to you, Dub. Yeah. Personally, I'm I'm also answering the question to like extended family that can't get in touch with me. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying people that's been like, yo, nigga, I've been calling you for months now, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> you ain't answering the phone. Yeah, where the fuck you been at? So that that. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been asked, why am I like this nowadays? And that's my answer right there. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Got you. And, and I, it's not that I don't want the answer to yeah. figure out how to get past it. Yeah. I just haven't found it yet. Got you. you know like I said, man, again, I'm not asking you the question mm-hmm. for me per se. Yeah. I'm asking for the people that, you know, like you said, people that hit you up. Mm-hmm. People that hit me up and they say, yo, I know what's going on. I thought y'all niggas were tired. Thought y'all niggas was done. Da, 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 da. Like, it, that ain't the case, man. It, it, the, what, the, what the case is, for the most part, mm-hmm. it's monetary, man. We, we, we as people, me and you speaking, I'm speaking about me and you, mm-hmm. we need to provide for our families. Yeah. We need to make sure that we financially straight. And sometimes, when it comes to doing this podcast... It, it it gets in the way of us being financially straight. Yeah. And yeah. again, like we have said uh, multiple times in the past, right now it's damn near one o'clock in the morning, and we out here doing a podcast. You know what I'm saying? Me, I got a kid on the way. Mm-hmm. I, I I think I stated that. I think I stated that in the last podcast. Um, the wife is due in about two weeks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for me personally. I don't know what my availability availability is gonna be like afterwards. Right. Yeah. You got your situation. Mm-hmm. You just moved. Yeah. You yeah. work in a certain location that's a certain distance from your house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to get your sleep. Yeah. You got to yeah. spend time with your fam, with yeah, the wifey, time. with yeah, this. Exactly. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I don't want people that listen to us and 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 people that oh why y'all doing a podcast every so often or yeah, yeah. whatever the case is and it's like yo man in the beginning of this shit like definitely we wanted to do something every single week and me personally like i really wanted to do something i want i still do want to do something every single yeah. week yeah definitely, definitely but 
sometimes it ain't realistic. Matter of fact, most times it ain't realistic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it, it's like a situation where you, you know what I mean? I'm at home. Do I want to say, yo, killer, let's come through yeah. and, and, and let's have man talk and, and talk in the middle of the house yeah. while people is going around and getting breakfast and trying to put yeah. kids to sleep and trying to do this, that, and the third. And, yo, where you at? What time you coming home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the, like, yo, it's it's yeah. a lot that goes on with doing yeah. a podcast. And unfortunately, a lot of people that's out there who have bigger voices than ours, who have careers yeah. that y'all might have followed before. Right. And now y'all a fan of theirs because they got a podcast now yeah. and this, that, and the third. Honestly, I feel like we a lot doper than them cats. No, right? we are. And, um... The thing is, even but they got the luxury of no, no, no. Even still, there's a lot of individuals that got the luxury of popping up with a podcast that I was a fan of. I don't, I don't give a shit to hear them. True, true. And even there's a lot of people I don't care to hear, bro. And there's a lot of I I ain't gonna lie to you. There's only two podcasts I listen to, the two Joes. (laughs) Got you. I listen to Joe Button. I listen to Joe Rogan. Got you. And that's it. Yeah. Period. I yeah. don't give a fuck. I love Noriega. I love a lot of motherfucking individuals, but. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to give me my content in a certain way mm-hmm. for me to digest it. And that's just it, period, man. So I just love and appreciate the individuals that have been rocking with us because. You've been rocking this. Let's keep it real because you like your content in a certain way. Yeah. And we have been able to deliver it in that way for you. And we appreciate y'all. And we're going to keep coming. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing but love for Dub. Dub got nothing but love for me. 100. And we're going to just keep this there rocking as when we can. So yeah. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Listen to this episode. We ain't going to draw this thing out. Yeah. We're going to come back. Don't, don't you worry. We here, yeah. So yeah. I guess to add on what Killer's saying, man, one eventually we'll try to find a way to become a little bit more consistent, like how we was in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, we still hungry. Yeah. We still we still feel like we got the best fucking podcast. We still Facts. feel like we the rawest when it comes to this shit. Facts. Um, you know, it, it, it's just it's just a lot of figuring out, a lot of logistics. It's a lot of yeah, a lot of stuff behind the scenes. We're going it, through the same thing you are. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. It's you a, remember, it's, I remember last time somebody invited you somewhere, and you was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna come," but you just couldn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> it's the yeah. same thing here. Bro. Yeah, same thing, bro. So like like Killer just said, yeah, like Killer just said, you don't you don't, you don't hate your man because you couldn't go to the shit. Yeah, you, just, you couldn't go. Yeah, my nigga, but it's still love though. And for sure, that's what it is. Man. So we appreciate y'all for so rocking with us. us on that. Yeah, we appreciate y'all for rocking with us, man. Hey, if if y'all if y'all watch this episode to the end, send us an email. You know what I'm saying? Send us a couple messages. What's the email address, though? Uh bootlegcablepodcast at gmail dot com. Yeah, or y'all could comment on the video, yeah, or y'all can comment on um the SoundCloud or yeah. wherever it is that y'all get the podcast. We on Apple Music still. We on all the platforms, all of that shit. Um, again, man, we appreciate y'all for rocking with us. You know, it, it, it's it's just, it's a lot, man. It's a lot for us to try to do a podcast every single week. Again, we grown ass men with fucking families, wives, and this, that, and the third, and jobs, and it's a lot of demanding shit out there, and we ain't at the point right now yet where it's monetary enough for us to say, you know what, man? We need to do this 100% all the time, every week. Two, you know, you got people that's out there doing two, three episodes a week and this, that. We can't and do that. And that, right that, part, that part right there, too, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Even though self-esteem is the esteem of yourself, like Cat Williams said, man. Yo, give us a little bit of self-esteem. Give us a little bit of ego boost. Hey, um, tell me. Tell me the, the truth and the honest truth and outright truth if you listen to this full way through. Yeah. Is this monetarily or is this monetary uh content for y'all out there? Just, yeah. just comment. Yeah. Just let me know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you say, yo man, nigga, I enjoy this shit, but I wouldn't pay for it. Drop that in the comment. Yeah. I enjoy this shit, I would pay for it. Drop that in the comment. Yeah. I enjoy this shit, but I don't, 
I pay about fucking five dollars for it. Yeah. Drop that in the comment. Yeah. I enjoy the shit, but yeah, I think about a dollar. Drop that in the comment. Let us know. All right. Give us that feedback. Let us know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know what I mean. We we, we 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 ain't got that. We ain't got the analytics that everybody else got out there. So yeah, you drop us some analytics. Let us know how much you feel about the content that we put out. How much you feel about us as individuals? You know what I'm saying? Is is it something that you would be willing to pay to rock with? And we ain't begging for your money or none of that shit. We just want to know what it is. If the energy is saying, "Yo, nigga, let's go full force." We go in full force. If the energy say, yo, let's go a little bit moderate, we go moderate. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what, that's all we asking for. So, yo, let us know. Bootleg if you pay, pocket. man, let us know. And what would you pay? Definitely. All right? So, what are you going to say now? It's Bootleg Cable Podcast. Can't spell that. Something wrong with your ass. Yes, Bootleg. Ain't nothing fake about it, man. Man, we out, man. We love peace. y'all, man. Appreciate peace, it. Peace, 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 peace.